Welcome everyone to this demonstration on how to paint a breaking wave using soft pastels. I have given myself some guidelines to follow using UART sanded paper. I am going to follow my shapes with some light and dark values to create a base for an underpainting technique. The crust of the wave will be the lightest colors and the trough of the wave will be the darkest where the water at the lowest part of the wave begins to rise up into the cresting wave. I am now ready to begin using my isotopal alcohol to blend the pastel pigment into my paper. For the most part, I try to follow the direction of the wave and the water in the background with my brush to create a little bit of the wave texture. I am using shades of greens and blues to create this base layer for the painting. It will provide some bright colors to the base of the painting that will actually show through as I begin applying pastel over my dried surface. When starting an underpainting, you want to think about what is underneath the surface of the water. We want to leave the spilling water in front of the wave for last. So we want to apply some color that would be beneath this layer of white water. There are also shadows created from the overturning spilling wave at the base of the wave or the troughed area would be. I've also added some burgundy color to the foreground water to represent the color of the sand beneath the water. Now that my paper is completely dry, I'm adding some wave texture in the distant water. I'm using a light shade of blue to create the surface cresting wave in the distance. And you can see that the body of the waves that contour are of a darker value. I'm adding some darker blue to the rising wave, but keeping the very top of the wave a lighter green and blue. And I can blend a little bit with my fingers or with the sponge applicators. I am using my light blue uh, pastel pencils, my light pinks, and light greens to create some of the top foam that rides on the surface of the water and creates these patterns that float as the currents change in the water. I will begin shaping some of the spilling water with my gray pastel. The water spilling over is never just a white color, but a combination of several colors. So I will begin using a lighter shade of gray to create some of the fullness and surface areas of the wave. I'm going to continue developing the crest of the water spilling down in front of the wave to give it volume and movement. I've added some
very light green to the bottom of our falling water. And then I will come back with a lighter shade that will actually fall over this lighter shade of green. I've added a small amount of spray to the top of the wave. And now I would like to shade a little more on underneath the wave and add some of the trails of white water rising up into the wave. I would like to add a lighter shade of blue to the background water to finish this area. I will blend it lightly with my fingers and this area is pretty much complete. I'm going to start developing some of the surface foam and currents in the foreground water. I am using some of my small pastel sticks that have flat edges to help create a sharper line as I create some of this movement and uh, foam in the water. I will be blending some of this water surface with a sponge applicator to give it a smoother appearance than what you see right now. I don't want to over blend it, but just enough to maintain some of the water texture. I'm going to use my sponge applicator to blend some of the color, especially the green color that is the underlying color beneath the surface white water. And I think this gives it a more natural flowing appearance by doing that. So for the next couple minutes, please follow along as I continue to develop the white water surf and white foam on the surface. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration on how to paint 
a breaking wave in pastels. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and press the bell icon for notifications of new videos. Thank you for watching and please join me next time.